what uh, Josh was saying is B of A's Michael Hartnett today says bear market rally is over. We're in technical recession. We just don't realize it. Yeah. So I don't have Mr. Druckenmiller in front of me, but I do have uh, Josh with me. So, Josh, based on what you're saying, would you recommend selling stocks today? No, I would recommend if you're out here, not a professional trader, not sitting in front of a screen all day and not with the ability to be nimble, stop playing this game. You are going to chop yourself up every time somebody tells you such and such is going to have solid earnings. It's not going to help. So here, here's what you can do and be very practical. First things first, tighten up the time frame on the trades that you're making. Second, don't go into anything without a predetermined stop loss. I talked about a short-term trade in FedEx. I know exactly where the market tells me I'm wrong, and that's where I'll be out of that. That is the way that you have to comport yourself in this market. If you're a longer-term investor, this is not an environment for you to be uh, picking through 8Ks and, 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 and trying to understand uh, whether or not Wall Street's estimates are a penny high or a penny low for next quarter. None of that kind of behavior is going to help in this environment. So I think long-term investors need to remind themselves there are periods of time where the market does not reward fundamentals and does what it's going to do. And if they're not going to be in here every day, they shouldn't be in here at all. Be long, have so, your asset so allocation, this, be diversified. Be is, diversified. Yeah. Go ahead. So, and listen, this is going to sound like I'm picking a fight with you, but I'm not. You and I look at the markets very differently, and we know that. We've been doing this many years, all right? You, basically, you and I disagree on everything except the conclusion, all right? I think earnings matter. I think fundamentals matter. I love 8Ks. I love looking for the value in the, in the debris of what's going on. How but is that our, working out for you this summer? Now, don't, look, if you want to pick a fight, fine. I'm giving you something to work with here, which is that both of us come to the same conclusion that for long-term investors, this is not a time to be selling stocks. Well, the problem with that is, as some would suggest, is that the time for selling stocks has passed. Now it's too late. Okay. But the problem with that is depends because on the, some depends have, on the stock. <laughs> because, well, right. But, but some, and I, I don't mean to be offensive in the way I say this. I, I, I really don't. I'm with you. Keep going. Um, because some have listened to people like you who say yep. everything is fine and the market's going to 4,800 or 4,900, so they stayed, and now it's too late to sell, so they're forced to hang on and feel bad because the reality of the situation seems to be I'm really trying I'm really trying well I, look seems everybody knows where you're going Scott everybody knows worse, where you're going much right? worse than 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 you yeah. suggest look investing isn't easy I appreciate that you're not trying to throw a knockout blow I appreciate it all right but here's the basic truth investing isn't easy and the three years that ended, ended December 31st 2021 made people think it was easy oh you just throw stocks at the fang or money at the fangs you just throw money at stocks that are splitting you just throw money at GameStop no that's not how it works if you do your work if you do your analysis then you can get through periods like this like I am getting through feeling comfortable that the value is there and it will be realized it's just a question of time I was buying back into this market in late March clearly that was the wrong time clearly I was early but it doesn't make me look at the situation right now and say I was wrong it's just a matter of time until the value comes through oh. so I'm not backing off of any recommendation either on the markets or individual stocks okay Brenda I apologize that I haven't gotten to you sooner <clears throat> um, I hope you accept that but what is your view uh, given what you heard and, and what you came prepared to say today yeah, I think today is a particularly frustrating day because I think when we look at the, the components within CPI, there's just some things that don't jive with other economic data we got. For example, if you were to look at um, industrial production numbers, it showed that vehicle production had picked up, um, yet it's not flowing through in terms of what we would think would be more supply, uh, driving prices lower. Um, and then we're seeing categories like food, you know, increasing significantly at more than 10 percent year over year. It was the highest increase since 1981. And that, that impacts everybody and certainly impacts the consumer. So I think there is, um, you know, just reiteration of this confusing environment that we're in. And some of the signs related to things like food um, are troubling, I think, for the consumer overall. Uh, but I do think to this conversation uh, between um, Josh and Jim, you know, if you are a long-term investor, I think this isn't a bad moment, especially to pick off 
some of the companies that really have very strong fundamentals that have been navigating through this environment thus far. And if you have a long-term time horizon, I think you will be rewarded over the long term for that. All right. Let's welcome in our, our headliner today. We're